Hey guys, Luke Falk here and welcome to another FIFA 24 review and so guys we're reviewing the 83 rated winter refresh Lem Limbobe, hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right, um, his card looks absolutely insane, I was able to pack this card as well which is fantastic and I thought that's um, I would give him a review and see what he was like to use. So he goes for around about 45,000 coins to 50,000 coins around that price. And in the four games that I did play, he scored me four goals and got me one assist. He's also got uh, four star skill moves as well as five star weak foot. So moving along to him, that's his main uh, standout stats will be his uh, 96 uh, shot power, his 92 agility, as well as his 89 balance, and uh, finally his 91 crossing. And he did also have the marks from chemistry star applied to this Limbombe card. So yes, hopefully I am pronouncing him right. And if if not, I am sorry, but I think that's how you say his name. Um, but he looks fantastic. I mean, some of these winter refresh cards, um, you know, some of them obviously do look good. You know, Ibrahimovic is obviously fun to use. Um, you know, Bruno Fernandez, Eric's, you know, going to different leagues and actually having really, really good high usable cards and stuff. And even some of these cheap cards as well. I don't know if he's a new transfer. I don't know if he's just been doing like amazing finance all season long. Uh, I'm not too sure, but it's another card that I've literally never heard of him. But uh, also, guys, the Prime Icon moment. I'm hoping either later on today or tomorrow. There should be an exciting review out. I haven't packed one, but I might be buying one. And I am very, very excited if I can get my hands in them. But you'll have to wait and see on that one. You know, actually guess who you think I'm going to buy um, as well. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can get my hands in them and I'll get a review on them soon. So take a guess at who that could be. But anyway, let's focus on this card. I think he's very good. Uh, you know, I did review the Jean Victor card yesterday and thought he was a decent card. Um, I thought that some of his stats meant to the point that I don't think he'd be too usable for too long in the game, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't think he'd be necessarily foot champs quality. I think this card is a lot more foot champs quality. Yes, obviously, of course, the league on... You know, isn't the best league in the world, but I've, you know, I haven't said that it's not a terrible league. You know, he's from a good nation in Belgium, so you can link him in with any decent players um, as well. You know, whether you're informed like you know, your icons that you've been getting from icon swaps and stuff like that as well. Um, and I thought he was fantastic. I actually really, really enjoyed him. I think he's a really, really good card. And uh, for me, his first pro is going to be his finishing. I was very, very happy with that. He's got uh, 83 positioning, 82 finishing, that 96 shot power, guys. I'm going to say it again. It's the most important stat to look for on an attacker this year. It's not the finishing, it's not the positioning. It's it's not the long shots, it's the shot power. And as well, that marks from Kemsa takes that shot power to 99. His near post finishing, he just drives the ball past the goalkeeper. They, they, they can't do anything about it. It's why he got such a good return with the four goals in the four games. It's because of his shot power. Now, obviously, it did help with the fact that, you know, he has great long shots, he has great volleys. His finishing's amazing as well. You know, that marks from Kemsa takes his finishing up from 82 to 92. It takes his long shots up to 98. It takes his volleys up to 96 as well. So the marks from Kemsa is a really, really good Kemsa because it just works for this card, it really, really does, and uh, and even his positioning as well goes from 83 up to uh, to 88. So his finishing stats are up there with you know the very best attackers in the game. There's no doubt about that. So finishing wise, great return, four goals in the four games, happy days. And um, the second pro will also be his dribbling again, so so smooth, like really, really good on the ball. Obviously four star scores as well, fantastic. Um, you know, Jao Victor didn't feel too bad for his dribbling. I was actually really impressed with it. I thought his dribbling was a lot better than what. The 79 overall that was given to him, I thought it was a lot better. But I think Lombombe's uh, overall dribbling is even better. And, you know, it's because he's obviously amazingly quick and his dribbling stats all around are pretty much just insane. You know, 92, which goes up to 97. His balance is at 89. His dribbling's at 83, which goes up to 88. Yes, you know, some of his dribbling stats aren't out as well. You know, only 73 reactions, only 75 composure. But I haven't said that he had no problem in scoring some amazing finesse shots. So I didn't really think his composure was that much of an issue, to be quite honest. And, and even his ball control, you know, 80, that's, you know, it's. It's not great, but it's not awful. And to be quite honest, it goes to a respectable level uh, with that marks from Kemp that takes it from 80 up to uh, to 85. So on the whole, dribbling, very happy with that. Obviously, the four-star scum as well, something they can utilize very, very well as a winger. So I was very happy with that. And then his final pro will also be his pace, 87 acceleration and 92 sprint speed. Yes, he's only got 76 stamina, which is... <sighs> It, it, it's a slight issue. I mean, you know, if you, you can't pace abuse the whole game with this card. That's like the only problem with him. You know, you, there are some cards that you can do that with that you can't do with this guy. It's because of his stamina. And sadly, there's no chem that increases stamina to a card. Um, so that is probably maybe the only slight downside to him. But, you know, if you don't pace abuse with him and you kind of like just 
you, like go with like short bursting runs for the you know for the most part if you're not going to sit there and constantly give him the ball on the left wing his stamina won't be an issue but if you go into games and you just constantly pass it to him on the left wing his stamina would then only be an issue but for most people it shouldn't really be an issue if like you're, you're, you know you're not just giving it to him all the time if that kind of makes sense but on the whole it's a really really good card for 45,000 coins there are other similar players that you can get obviously from the league on there's the uh, the Maluda card from the league SPC I think this card is better because he's cheaper and I think he's actually a better looking card there's also cards at like the Moses Simon card from uh, from Footmas. That was a pretty awesome card as well. Obviously, you can't buy that card now. That's uh, that's completely gone. But on the whole, I mean, you know, there's also the player moments, Di Maria, who I really, really enjoy as well. I think he's a good card. I don't think this Limbobe card is that far off like a player moments, Di Maria. I was very, very happy with him. Yes, probably the only, maybe, you know, the only part of the card that maybe isn't great, you know, is that stamina and the fact that, yes, he's only got 58 uh, vision, but, he did, you know, he still got me one assist in the uh, in the four games. But on the whole, you know, for what he goes from the market, I think he's, you know, I think he's pretty decent value for coins. In fact, I think he's very, very good value for coins. And I will give him an 8 out of 10 of all rating the things that are stopping that. Maybe some of his passing stats and for the fact that, yes, he has only got 76 stamina. But I think certainly it's like a foot champs substitute and stuff like that. He'd work very, very well as that 100%. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.